In this video, I want to talk about using partial ellipses and partially overlapping them to show what is in front of what. It's kind of like a perspective thing that I learned. So I've been drawing a ton of uh, cylinders recently, and I've been trying to get a lot of uh, practice in. I feel like I can never have enough practice with uh, these basic shapes. I messed up that line. So I made that ellipse too big. So we have that ellipse. I'm going to do another one. <laughs> And now I'm going to connect it. This is going to be our one in the front. Okay, so we have our uh, cylinder in the front, but showing one in the back is uh, difficult for a wide variety of reasons, particularly it, if I draw through my form, and let me start with another line. Uh, I'll put it closer. Okay, so when you draw uh, through your forms, sometimes when you do something like this, it becomes a bit difficult to tell what's in front of what, um, unless, like, I feel like in this case, the only person who knows is going to be the person who actually drew these uh, cylinders. I mean, sometimes you could use shading or color to denote uh, overlap for this, but you know, more often than not, I feel like it becomes really difficult to uh, tell when you just draw through your forms. I mean, more often than not, you are the only one that really uh, knows it. And I always do suggest that you draw through your forms as it's always good to be thinking about uh, 3D space. But, you know, I kind of realized there's a bit of a flaw uh, with that. So a solution that I've come up to is basically uh, drawing a partial ellipse. So kind of like that, I think I drew it a little bit too big. It's a bit difficult to pull off in one swing because I'm trying to be very uh, cautious. Ah, I should probably rotate my page and it would make things a little bit easier but I'm a bit stubborn and I'm just going to try to ghost it. It's also kind of like you have to draw more of this half than this half, but that's kind of what I tried to do and I have to do it for the bottom as well. So, <laughs> you know, like I pretty much just drew the part that I can't see and it kind of shows that this cylinder, oop, I didn't complete it. Sorry. But it shows that this cylinder is in front of this one. You know, I think that little trick kind of helps a lot. Um, perhaps I should have, I should have made my cylinders a little bit clearer. Uh, let me try that again. But you very well could, like, you know, since I'm working in digital, uh, I, I could have erased things. I could have put it on a different layer. Uh, there's a wide variety of methods that you can use to try to accomplish that. But I don't want to take up any more of your time. So thanks for uh, sticking around. 
in this video. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you have a question, please ask in the comments. Bye.